How's it going everyone and welcome back to Season 2 of the Port Vale Youth Academy Legends Career Mode here on FIFA 19. That's a very long intro now, but I don't really care. Let's just get on with Season 2. That is currently the first team squad we have. Let me just take you into the squad screen real quick. Uh, this is, at the moment, the starting 11 for what will be the first game of the season or whatever. On the bench we've got these guys, although that will change. And then we've got so many players on the reserves, it's unbelievable. Um, I will now show you my transfer list because we've got so many players on there as well. I mean, just look at all these players on the transfer list. Both of our goalkeepers from Season 1 are on there. Uh, Jesse Mendes, Vasilev, Breen, Brown, Hogan, Morgan, Barr, Davis, O'Byrne, Drummond and Feeney. That's how many players exactly? That is 13 players on the transfer list. I hope they all sell. Oh, hello. Oh my god. I think this is Ribery's regen. Don't don't quote me on that. I think this is Ribery's regen. Let me go check real quick. Ber yep, he's not there. That has got to be Ribery's regen, surely. Of course, guys, this season as well now, we can actually start buying players from other clubs because there will be players available. So I'm just going to have a look at some players from other clubs. I am going to hold off on scouting for now, so I can get the scout reports for these players I'm scouting and then see how good they are. I'm not going to suddenly fill my entire team with regens, but I, there is a couple there that I actually really want, and I don't know whether I'd have the money for them and for the scouting as well, so um, of course we're going to sell players as well, well hopefully, uh, but let's get on with the, um, the simulation. So we have a little bit of a transfer budget increase this year. We have 2.7 million. I've already spent a tiny bit of that on some on a scout because I needed one. A, a global transfer network scout. Uh, it's not much of an increase, but it's an increase we needed. And we already have a loan offer for Sean Duffy, one of our goalkeepers. I mean, yeah, I suppose. Let, let, let's see if he accepts that. We have three goalkeepers in there in the first team, so if one goes out on loan, it's not the end of the world. So we've just beaten Admir Avaka 2-0, and um, Declan Moore and Harvey Young getting the goals. By the way, the guys with all the massive squad numbers, like Vasilev's 53, Hogan 55, Morgan 57, blah, 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 they're all the players I'm trying to sell. I just didn't want their squad numbers to be in the way of the squad numbers I picked for the rest of the players that are actually staying. So, uh, yeah, that reminds me, I've changed a few of those numbers as well. So, these are some of the new squad numbers anyway. I've put Hatunen as number one. I didn't want to make Keith O'Donnell number one because I didn't want to cause any confusion by the fact that Darren O'Donnell used to be number one. So, I've made Keith O'Donnell a different number. Um, Marcus Hull, the midfield mohawk, now wears number four as opposed to 29. Uh, Alexander now wears number five instead of 31. Uh, Joel Wilson is now number 7 um, instead of number 28 I think he was um, who else is there Harvey Young is now number 14 and not 27 it was driving me mad seeing him wearing 27 uh, Gallo is now 17 and not 36 uh, Mestres Di Mosquito or Mosquito as I like to call him I don't know why I said his full name it's 18 not 26 um, and yeah that's that's pretty much it really. Keith O'Donnell is 26 by the way. Um, but the squad numbers go all the way up to 27. I left 24 blank because I want to put a new sign in there. I don't know if I've overtrained Will Hill or he just wasn't promising in the first place. But either way, I'm going to keep training him. I don't care. So what I'm doing with training this season is, as you can see, I've got five different presets set up. Obviously, one for goalkeepers, one for defenders, one for centre mids, one for wingers, and one for strikers. I'm going to be alternating between them every week. And um, obviously, then loads more players will get trained up rather than just five. Like, like almost five in every position. So, um, yeah, just so the players can grow a bit quicker. We have our first transfer offer in, and it's for Borislav Vasilev. I think I'm going to ask for a bit more than that. I'm going to ask for 160 and don't go lower than 140. Thank you very much. He is probably the biggest transfer offer we're going to get for anyone. Rail Oviedo have come in for Darren O'Donnell and I'm just going to straight up accept that offer. I doubt he's going to go there. 
but for sure, Darren O'Donnell is going to go to Real Oviedo and another loan offer for Sean Duffy, this time from Junior FC. I don't know what country they're from, but he's probably not going to go there. It's going to be a bit of a wait before we actually try and sign some people. They sc What the hell was that start? So, they scored in the first minute, we also scored in the first minute, and also they got an injury in the first minute. And we ended up losing 3-1. <laughs> What the hell was that simulation? Looks like Borislav Vasilev is heading off to F sorry, Esbjerg for um, £145,000, that's if he goes there. We've had an offer for Mosquito, he is staying. Now an offer for Peter Shaw from Crawley. Again, delegate, I'll just go for that. <laughs> They probably won't accept 270,000, but hey, we've lost bloody 1 0 as well. <laughs> oh, come on, that was probably the, the best chance we had of winning the game in this group, and we've lost it and we're out. Darren O'Donnell has actually gone to um, Real Oviedo, so we got an extra £900,000 from that. Um, to, oh my god, they're actually going to pay the 270000 for Peter Shaw. I, that was just the, the preset that they put up there. Okay, then. I mean, I'll take it. <laughs> Uh, we get an extra 300,000 from the preseason tournament as well. We've just made a lot of money there. What's our transfer budget looking like now? Or already nearly 4 million. That's ridiculous. <laughs> we haven't even done anything. We're getting offers for Mosquito. He's not transfer listed, is he? No, he's definitely not transfer listed. Right, okay. Reject. Once it hits the 1st of August, I will send scouts out for youth scouting. I'm not going to ditch that already. It's too early in the series to ditch youth scouting. That's what the series is all about, pretty much. Borislav Vasilev has now left the club and gone to Esbjerg. Uh, we've got an extra £90,000 from that, and Liam Barr is subject of an offer from Gazalec Ajaxio. I believe that's how you say it. I swear I did not put Sean Duffy on the loan list. Maybe I did put Sean Duffy on the loan list. At least there's this one's from Sandhausen. He might actually go there. Got an offer for Jonathan Morgan, and this is from Crew. Now, will Crew be willing to pay more than that? Because he probably don't have any money. I'll go 160. Don't go lower than 135. You're going to have to pay more, Crew. And Bar has left and gone to Gazlet to Jaxio. 110,000 we've got from that. And Riley Drummond is subject of an offer from Berry, which I'm just going to accept because it's over his value. Sean Duffy has left the club and gone to Sandhausen for a year, so now we are just left with the two goalkeepers, as I said, Keith O'Donnell and Emil Hatunen. And also, Jonathan Morgan is heading to Crew. Unfortunate for him. Why, why would he want to go there? We've got a transfer offer for Keith O'Donnell. Um, no. One for Mason Davies, though, I will just instantly accept because I don't even know who he is. Mason Davies has left. Jonathan Morgan has left, and Riley Drummond has left. We now have an offer for Harvey Brown. I think I put him on a transfer list. I did. Um, yes. Tianjin Tida. And Harvey Young is staying. Because Will Hill and Dylan Dylan are no longer promising players, they're going to have to be trained up so much to get to a decent level. I want them to stay in the squad for the entire series. Even if, even if when we get to the Premier League, they're not exactly... Um, um, the best. I still want them to be there. And these are all of the players I scouted uh, from free agents and clubs. So let's have a look at some of these guys. No! Vincent Vidal's found a club! God damn it, Espanol! Oh, that's annoying. To be fair, he is on £10,500 wage. That's quite a lot. To be fair, though, we did have this guy as well. Michael Grandella Nunes who was kind of like the backup sort of option. And he is still a free agent, so I am definitely signing this guy. Well, I'll, I'll have to look at his um, uh, skill moves and weak foot first. And Kevin Dicker was another decent player, and he's gone to Dal Kurd as well. Dal Kurd offer for all of my players, all the time. And he's gone there. We have a decent little centre-back here in Emmanuel Rocha. Rocha! Right, Michael Grande Grandella Nunes, I'm going to have to think of another name for him for sure. But well, he's got 5 star weak foot and 3 star skill moves. I am 100% signing this guy, let's flip him do it. And here we go, this is what he's going to get, a wage of 2,900 with a signing bonus of 16,500. For a player that is 69 rated, that barely touches my transfer budget. 
69 rated. He's going straight into the starting 11. I'm sorry, Joel Wilson, but he's good. He looks very good. And Emmanuel Rocha only wants a wage of 1,100 per week. I mean, it says recommended offering 118 to 22. EA don't know their stuff, really. But we've got another backup centre back for now. Well, he might be back up. I'm not sure. I'll have to go check now. I don't think I've ever seen the season start this early before. Not just, obviously not in real life, but on FIFA. August the 1st. I've never known a season start that early on FIFA. And FIFA's pretty unrealistic. However, before we play this game, I am going to send out my scouts. Uh, I'm actually going to fire Ilke Kaplan by a better scout than him, if there is one. There certainly is, there's two of them. There's Liam Lee and Niall Campbell. Liam Lee, what a name that is. I'm signing him just for that name. Liam Lee. Right, okay, so Charles Baker. I will send to... Hmm, where shall I send him to? I think Netherlands. Netherlands normally comes up good for me. Uh, so I'll send him to Netherlands for nine months. Why have I done it for nine months? It doesn't matter. Anyway, um... Uh, Liam Lee I'll send to England because he's the better scout than, than the first one, Charles Baker. And Alto Emil, I am going to send to... I'm going to send him to Ecuador. Just completely random. Let's just go out there. Ecuador. And it's hit our transfer budget pretty big, that has, but... I don't care. <laughs> so I just wanted to show you guys the, the, the potentials for the players almost. For the players I've got, obviously if they're below 60 overall, it's not going to show. So I'm only going to show you the guys over 60 overall, obviously. Mandela Nunes just signed him. Obviously, I've got no idea on his potential. He's showing great potential. So, just in case you guys didn't know, I'm pretty sure you do. But if you don't, showing great potential means it's his potential is between 80 and 84. Um, an exciting prospect is 85 to 89. And has potential to be special is 90 plus so that's why Hugh Harris is staying in the team <laughs> because his potential is at least 90 has potential to be special Keith O'Donnell is showing great potential which isn't that bad uh, Will Hill I need to renew his contract I don't think he's got a potential though now because he's not promising anymore so uh, his potential is below 80 which is frustrating really but at the same time it's okay I suppose because I'm training him uh, Joel Wilson is showing great potential. Harvey Young does not have much of a potential. Fair enough. Barry Nicholson is an exciting prospect. Okay. Uh, Rocha have just signed. No, nothing. Ewan Alexander is showing great potential. Dylan Dylan does not have a potential. I, uh, does not have a good potential. I already knew that. Uh, Hatunin is an exciting prospect. Uh, Craig Byrne is showing great potential. Uh, Michel Gallo is showing great potential, which is frustrating because he was a scout future star. Uh, Blondo is uh, needs to renew his contract. Uh, Jesse Mendes doesn't matter. Sean Duffy's out on loan. Alexander Patrick Alexander is showing great potential. Um, uh, Mosquito I don't think had a good potential. Um, Keith Hogan's transfer listed. Marcus Hall is showing great potential, and uh, Harvey Brown is uh, on his way out. Richardson does not have a good potential. I knew that already. Arnos apparently also doesn't have a good potential <laughs> okay Aiden Campbell contracts going and that's it let's play this game against Rochdale I I am going to put uh, Rocha into the starting lineup ahead of Byrne just while he's higher overall once Byrne reaches the same overall as Rocha he'll go straight back into the starting 11 let's play this game against Rochdale so here we go then, the first game of the season, I forgot to go to the, the screen, um, Rochdale away from home. Hopefully our squad has improved and we're actually decent now, uh, because this season I want to do a little better than last, but um, the only way I suppose is to find out. Let's play. The new signing, Grandella Nunes on the ball, he's only got three star skills, I've got to remember that, he gets a cross in, Will Hill was at the back post waiting for that. Will Hill finds Blondo. It comes out to Hugh Harris, who could definitely hit them, but not that time. Jesus. Oh, no. Oh. How did the man in the middle for Rochdale there not get latch onto that? Nice ball from Harvey Young. Here's Dylan Dylan. Will Hill sprinting down the right hand side, and again, Dylan Dylan. 
hesitated so quick, so much that he couldn't get the ball. He ends up running out of room. And now Rochdale are on the attack because of that. No! No! Calvin Andrews scored! Oh my god! Dylan Dylan's hesitance is Rochdale's game. It's twice he's done it now in this game, and it's 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 really, really set us back. That's a good ball to be fair from the left, and Calvin Andrew had an easy finish. Marcus Hall to Dylan Dylan. That's I aimed at Marcus Hall. I did not aim at Young at all there. I aimed straight up, and he passes it through to Harvey Young, who's offside. I've put Nunes up front, and Joel Wilson's come on on the left. Dylan Dylan... And neither is Harvey Young, to be fair. Dylan Dylan has not had a good game. Every time he's got the ball, he's giving it away. Every single time. There's no way I'm keeping a player on who's going to keep giving the ball away. I'm sorry. Wait, 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 wait. What did I do? I literally didn't touch a button. Oh, come on. The ball had already gone. You just want me to lose. Ugh. Gillam on the penalty. He's running up very slowly, and he scored. Oh my god, I've slapped my legs so much through frustration because this game has just not happened in t for, for me. It's just not happened for me. Nothing's gone right. My best players are performing so bad, and the rest of the players that aren't even as good, obviously, can't step up. Will Hill, here we go. Get that cross in. It was terrible. He is Hugh Harris. He can hit them from there. But guess what? He hasn't done it right. Nunes. Now Elliot Thomas. He's come on for Harvey Young. Ball over to Will Hill. That's a good ball in. Punched away by the keeper. Thomas heads on. Oh, no! That was so close. <laughs> How close was that? That was not a bad effort from Luciano Arnos. Just... Just, yeah, I'm glad that game's over because Jesus Christ did nothing work. I don't think we even had a shot on target in that game. I want to see that. Did we have a shot on target in that game? No, we had six shots, none on target. They had six shots, five on target. Oh, that just shows how bad we were. It shows how bad we were. The fact that Thibaut Blondeau was man of the match for us. You know, and Elliot Thomas got the same rating as him, and he was on the pitch for about tw for about 70 less minutes. So Harvey Brown has left for Ta Tianjin Tada, and we've got a transfer offer for Peter Feeney from Cambridge United. 200,000, just take him. He's rubbish anyway. Got an offer for Keith Hogan from... Oh my god, how did I end up over there? What is going on? Here we go then, I scouted so many strikers in England, it was actually ridiculous. Every Premier League and Championship striker that was a regen that I could find, I scouted. That's not a good start. We also have a transfer offer for Peter O'Byrne, and surprise, surprise, it's flipping Dalkers with the offer. Just go. Even though literally none of my players have gone to Dalkerd, Peter Feeney has left for Cambridge, and that is why I'm ending this episode, because I don't want to do this anymore. That game has really, really, really pissed me off. <laughs> anyway, guys, if you guys enjoyed me raging in this episode, and you want to see more of the Port Vale Youth Academy Legends career mode, then make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and, of course, hit that little bell button if you don't want to miss a video of mine. You'll get notifications depending on which one you pick, whether you pick just the bell, then it's some. If you pick the bell that's ringing, then um, you will receive all the notifications. So yeah, guys, until next time, thanks so much for watching. Peace.